Hi, it's John. Um, the underclass. Do politicians really want the underclass to exist? Um, the reason why people, politicians might want the underclass to exist is that you've got this body of what you might call untouchables who are the lowest of the low and they're they act as a deterrent to, um, I don't know, school children. You know, if you don't work hard, you'll end up like such and such. Um, if we go back in time, before the Industrial Revolution, in the uh, 16 and 1700s, the, uh, there wasn't any welfare state. So uh, families had to look after anybody who was a bit sort of um, uh, not not so good. You know, they had to make make use of their gifts. Pe old people used to look after the children, and um, you know, people probably did a bit of basket weaving or knitting or something like that if they were weren't up to much. Um, then come the industrial revolution. I'm sure that there was an awful lot of cherry picking went on, and, and it was only the people who who worked. Um, who could actually find um, employment and then anybody who was a bit uh, marginal they would end up in, in in what was known as the workhouse where they would just be sort of fed at a basic level and, and uh, sleeping at a basic level and uh, may not uh, uh, may not live very long um, that was the sort of Victorian idea uh, and same, same went for mental health you know, get rid of them, put them in an asylum, uh, dare say, spend as little as possible on keeping them there, and um, just sort of hope that they go away. Then, um, uh, it's probably after the First World War, when sort of socialism really came in, then there was the idea of sort of full employment, and everybody ought to have work, and uh, that was an ideal, to have full employment, and and um, and then sort of culminating in the 60s when they got rid of well certainly got rid of workhouses long before that but they got rid of the uh, uh, mental health asylums as well and tried to integrate everybody uh, and then come the uh, the 80s after the industrial dis upset um, unrest of the 1970s especially then that's when sort of Thatcherism and um, Capitalism and um, and monetarism and uh, all all came in and, and and overtook socialist ideals uh, and and now we're still with that and uh, some would say that we've um, the um, the underclass are there to persuade people to work and now with the um, benefit reforms that's going to be more the case you know I believe that in, in the um, in the Blair years uh, that the, the, the um, benefits were quite generous to try and just keep people happy but now that's over we've had the financial crisis and and um, there's been a consensus of opinion that um, Benefits need to be cut, and uh, that's what they're doing. And um, people have been murmuring full employment, but, but do they really believe it? Is the underclass actually a political necessity to keep people, uh, some might say, wage slaves, to keep them working? You know, if you don't work, you're going to end up like such and such. Okay, bye for now.